now we're going to go through the junk journal that I'm using to record um, different bits and pieces about managing uh, my anxiety, stress and my low mood and I've already started filling my book. I've got some envelopes here, uh, tabs in here, tabs in here. I've used tab templates, I've used old bits of um, ribbon that I've had, I've got my crocodile here um, to do things like this and I'm going to go through showing you a couple of things that to go in your journals. So um, we made the junk journal with these pages so you've got pockets already and you can cut out different shapes to do your tabs with and obviously the more tabs you have the more times you can write things in and um, I've already started doing a bit of journaling. There's that. Here we go, some journaling, some colouring in. Um, I've done stickers, put some stickers through, uh, stuck things down, and all sorts of things really. And I've just started it, so it's it's going to be something that I use for a very long time in journaling. So let's um, do a couple of things that you can pop in. Um, so what I do, I'll show you, is I have this box here and in this box I'm an avid crafter and I teach as well and often there's lots of off, off cuts so um, like here for instance this I cut out lots of banners for decorating our martial art truck at the Christmas parade last year and there's a lot of paper here that I didn't want to throw away so if you're like me and you've got this little box don't go to your new papers go to your stash look at all that paper and also when i'm making journals i always get lots of strips when i'm making a six by six and a 12 by 12 paper you need six and a bit inches on each bit so you get lots of this left over so um just found a couple of pieces that i really like so i'm going to get those out um, oh, there's another bit. Stars and Stripes in the USA. Must have been for a trip overseas I did to America. That's one I like. So, um, yeah, so keep your scraps of paper for another day, like today. So what I've done is I've taken one of those black pieces of paper. I've scored across the bottom. And I have a stamping up um, new trimmer, which has a cutter and a scorer on it. Um, so you can use one of those if you've got one of those. If not, um, these are scoring tools that you can get from any craft shop. I have actually um, three different sizes. In fact, there's six different sizes because they're double-ended. So depending on how thick your paper or how deep you want to go or how wide you want your score mark to go, you can choose those. So I just like to get the softer end here. And you take your ruler and you just score across and fold it up and do the same either side. Uh, your bone folder and you burnish these edges to make them nice and flat. I've just realized I didn't bring really glue across. And what I did was I just cut these edges off just to give it a nice place to fold on. And what you're going to do is you're going to just stick this bit to this bit here. And what you've got is the start of a pocket. You can see that in there. Um, what I did there, um, hopefully you can see, is I've taken a punch. So I've punched that out, I've then taken a piece of paper pop that on the front and I've pushed it up so I can get the exact punch again on the paper. Doing the two sheets together is a bit thick but then what I've been able to do then is move it down slightly so what you now have is the front of your pocket and this is the paper that I've used in the inside and I'm going to pop that on the front like so. And I've left a little bit of a black border around because I quite like how the border gives definition to the paper. So you've got the starts of your pocket. So now what's left to do is to find a page. Let's see if we've got them. 
life on them. Ooh, that's Jerry. Oh, there we go. So it's finding a page where you're going to pop it. What you do then is glue. And this glue is very good. It dries reasonably quickly, but we're just going to give it an opportunity just to dry really well. Okay, so I have another one here. And I'm thinking I might do a pocket that way. Okay, or should I go that way? Okay, so I'm going to go that way. Because what I'm thinking is to do it slightly differently. So let's score our edges where we're going to glue it down. It doesn't need to be measured, it's just quite high. I don't know if you can see that. Let's do that a little bit better. So we just score by eye. So we're going to score those over. This is where it's going to stick into the page. And I'm going to score along the bottom. This time we're going to just do a small, small pocket bottom. And again, I just put my scissors. Says looking for her scissors, could be anywhere. Here they are. Just snip the corner off of it. There. She's got a nice corner. This one, because it's narrow, I'll stick it straight in the book. You can see that you can do all sorts. And what I've got here is the piece of paper to go underneath. Now that doesn't fit. So what we're going to do now is go back to the drawing board and actually uh, what I'll do is I'll do this now quietly so I can speed it up. But what I'll do is take some of my leftovers. I'm going to actually try and cover that and then maybe do a piece over there. So I'll be back in a second. Here we go. It's Come back and it's not, I did rush it a little bit, but I um, quite like that. So again, we've got another pocket to go in. There we go. So where did I find that piece? Oh, there's a nice piece there. There we go. So I think it's a good pocket. I'm going to make this one shorter. And you have yourself a pocket. So you can see that you can play around with pockets and it's just really straightforward to take that square of paper. So now what I want to do is show you how to make the envelopes. Um, it's, um, there's a really good We Are Memory Keepers envelope maker out there, um, but I just sort of messed around with how to make it. So I think I've come up with a way to do this on camera for you. So I've taken a piece of six inches by six inches uh, piece of cardstock. I've measured around and put the three inch mark on each side. And what I want to do is firstly score on two sides opposite each other. So this is really important. So you score opposites. So this is going to make your sides. And you're going to fold them in, like so. You take your bone folder and finish. So now, what you want to do now is because you want this to overlap here, you're going to take your scoring tool and move it up slightly so that you get a bit more of an overlap. So it's literally doing it by eye. So score along here. Like so. And then what happens is your piece of paper is slightly longer and you then have somewhere, if I do it this way you'll see, somewhere to put your glue so it sits under it. So we're going to put the glue on the edges there. So what I do is I put it on this side. Put 
because I really don't want it going inside the envelope. Um, for your envelope, you can either leave it here or you can have it come down if you because you might want to actually have some envelopes and it's not the per most perfect of envelopes but what you might want to do is put a magnet behind here and then when you stick that down your magnet's hidden and then put a magnet on here and um, maybe cover inside with paper and then you will have a magnetized case that comes down to put things inside of here you want to make your tabs so i'm going to take this piece of paper and put make my tabs so this will take up to about two inches of a tab And I've got some things here, and I'm thinking perhaps that colour there. And because I've already got the hole, I don't have to punch it. Then I take my crocodile, thinking outside the box, as may be. Put this over like so, and pop it in there. And then what I've got then is something I can write on inside. And that goes in there. Could be just put some corners on it. Now if you find some tabs um, that you can get on parcels and things, you will be able to maybe trace around them. Um, I have some tab making tracing stencils, but um, I have an office craft room and a home craft room and unfortunately some things end up not following me around so those didn't get to the office today. So I punched a hole in there I think I'm going to go for the red. Pop that in there I think. I'm not going to mess with an eyelet today and there you have another envelope. Find somewhere to pop it in. Plenty of glue, stick it down. And there we go, so. so hopefully you get the idea of making pockets out of scraps of paper, making envelopes um, out of uh, square pieces of paper. Um, that's the way I do it, but it's probably lots of easier ways to do it. Um, and then just adding tabs into these and then what I can do is later on is go to my stash of um, fabrics and cottons because you don't need to use ribbon you can use cotton you can use jewelry you can use anything that you find to make these tabs with um, this one here I think it came with um, it was the wrapping for a gift that I had. Um, florists, they often put lovely ribbons around flowers. So um, it doesn't have to be expensive. And yeah, so that's it really. So I hope you enjoyed how to make these simple pockets and um, continue with your tab making and journaling.